Hi, it's Dana. I'm here at the Fame Studio in Buford and I wanted to just take a couple minutes to talk to you about why I am totally 100% against having a fallback plan um, in the traditional sense. If you're a parent of a child or teen who's interested in a career in the arts, the um, the tendency is to want to advise them to develop a fallback plan, something to fall back on because what if that doesn't work? Well, I would like to just give you some thoughts to help you kind of work through that idea. First of all, um, I was a kid who was interested in the arts and I was advised to have a fallback plan. Well, I want you to know that when that was told to me, only thing I heard was they didn't believe in me. They didn't believe in my talent or my gift or that I'd be able to succeed at what I was passionate about. So parents, I know that's not the message you're trying to send, so don't send that message. Um, also, it's important to know that if your child is born to be an artist, a performer, a creative, that's the thing they're going to be successful in. And if you're going to be successful in something, you got to work at it. You got to train at it. You got to train hard. Just as hard as if you were going to be a medical doctor. That brings me to the other um, thing about why we don't uh, believe in the traditional sense of fallback plans. Do you want your doctor to be someone who studied medicine as a fallback plan? No, you want your doctor to be someone who just had a passion for that from the beginning. They knew they wanted to be a healer. Um, but I want to let you know also that artists and creatives are healers. It's what we do. Um, so long story short, you got to grow the tree that you're given. If you have an apple tree, you're never getting oranges off of it. So if your child is a creative, that's what you're getting off that tree. Nurture that tree. Grow it. Encourage it. Build it up. Now, for those who absolutely need a fallback plan, and I think we all do in a sense, but not the fallback plan you were thinking of. For a creative, a fallback plan, an effective fallback plan is, if you're in dance, try something in singing or some other parts of music or acting so that you have now more than one creative skill. That's what you wanna do. Singers who only want to sing, they're setting themselves up to become a starving artist. Musicians, I mean, piano players or other instrumentalists who only want to play that one instrument, they're setting themselves up to be a starving artist. Um, as a creative, you wanna you know, hone your writing skills, hone your creativity in every area possible. That, my friends, is a fallback plan. Um, for more tips and information about music lessons at Fame Studio, visit www.danaraysmusic.com.